Raziel Shevach, the father of six, was shot near the outpost where he was living in the northern West Bank. Well, immediately after the incident, we received, uh, received messages saying that the IDF is indeed uh, implementing security measures, more roadblocks, more road uh, uh, checkpoints to be more thoroughly checked, if you will. But today, we had a, there was a visit by the military chief, by Gadi Eisenkot, to the area uh, where this incident transpired. And he was actually met by some right-wing activists who were complaining. According to, to these activists, they, were, they warned the IDF of a, of a potential attack, that apparently even on Monday there were reports, uh, according to settlers that live in that area, that there was an attempted shooting incident where someone may have a, arrived to a vehicle and, and uh, appeared to be showing a weapon, but continued. So they had been, uh, they're complaining that they had warned over and over again the IDF and uh, Israeli security agency of a potential incident, which is now um, also coming to light, a controversy regarding whether or not the IDF was aware of this beforehand, and even still, that um, this right-wing right activist was also complaining that the roadblocks had appeared to be not present surrounding the city of Nablus and pleading with the IDF chief to bring back the roadblocks. The warnings aren't working, deterrence isn't working, bring back the roadblocks. That's what we're hearing now.